has come. The time has come for you to get your Self-realization. You are ready for it now. This is the time when the chaos is at its maximum level, where people understand that these pursuits of wealth, of power, and other emotional possessions are of no value. Where the pressures and the tensions are so great that man is seeking. In every country I find thousands and thousands and thousands of people seeking. Even in our country there are people who are seekers. That's a category now developing. It's a category. Like a flower is a category on the trees, different from other parts of the tree in the same way, a seeker is a category which is different from the other parts of the world. He is not satisfied with what he has and he has started seeing through that there must be something beyond. This is not the end of it. Only such people are welcome in Sahaja. Those who are not seekers cannot be forced into it. It's a spontaneous thing. <coughs> now, this has been promised in various scriptures that this has to happen. As old as Nala Purana, I don't know if you have read it or not, because we modern people don't read all these Puranas, you see. We think it's all too ancient for us to read. It was said that when Kali Yuga will at its worst harass the human beings, at that time those people who are seeking God today in the hills and dales will be born again and they will get their Self-realization. You will be amazed that in England which we don't think in any way spiritually rich country. Indians at least don't think so, at least they feel that they are very spiritually rich. I wonder if they are really, but if they are, I'm not surprised at it because you have such a great heritage. If you have not forgotten it, you are the best to get your Realization. You are the best suited for that. You have that Sukrut behind you. You have that big right to get it how far Indians are seekers, that's what one has to see. Now, the problem is when you are a seeker, when you are seeking God, which is the way to do it, how to do it? Because your parents told you that you are a Muslim or a Christian or a Parsi or a Sikh or something, you just become that. But by doing any of the rituals or any one of the things that your parents have told, 
you still feel that there is something more that has to happen. And what is that which is the missing point that we have to know within ourselves? Today I am happy we heard such a great song by such a great poet, Kabira. And that, as he has said it and as everybody has said it, Christ has said it, Muhammad Sahib has said it, all of them have said it, that it is inside you is the Lord, is the Rama, is the Shiva, is the Paigambara or is the, what they call the Allah. Then seek Him. Now we start singing the song. We better seek and you better seek and we must seek. By singing the song are you going to seek it? Now how do you seek then, Mother? They ask me. How are we to seek God? Is there a way and method? How did you become human beings? Effortless without any effort. Only thing was that you exposed yourself to nature and nature created it. You call it nature or God, it's just the same. In the same way, it is the job of God Almighty who has created you to give you your meaning. If I make an instrument like this, it is my job to tell the person what to do with it how to put it to the mains and how it is to be used. In the same way, it is the job of God Almighty to do it and He knows how to do it. So one may say, what should we do about it? What is the way to achieve that? Again, we are on the effort. Actually, what we have to do is to be in the center. You must lead a moderate life. You should not go to extremes. If you go to extremes too much, then you are taking your attention away from the Spirit. You have to keep in the center, you have to lead a very normal life. As Kabira has very clearly said, that I do not go anywhere. He was a married man, he keeps in the center. Don't have to use any extreme or exterior things to express your spirituality. It is within yourself that you will find it, keep to the center. It is absolutely practical it's common sense. Think of a car which is not having its center of gravity at its center but is moving at a tilt. Think of a boat which is tilted. Anything that is tilted too much gives an imbalance. So to keep a balanced life, to keep a moderate life, in the center be very, very normal. That's what Everyone has said. Because that's what it is. By keeping in the center only, we have achieved our evolution. Always, if you see a tree, you will find the sap of the tree rises in the center. All living work takes place in the center, even your social and economic activities take place in the center. Even as we call it, Delhi is the central government. So you have to keep to the center of your behavior, of your living, of your styles, of your thinking. Do not go to extremes. This is first thing they have told us.
Today they asked me a question that, Mother, you have cured so many cancer patients. I have, no doubt, and cancer can be easily cured. So many diseases can be cured by Kundalini awakening. But how do you get cancer is the question they asked me. I said, by going to extremes. By going to extremes only you develop all the problems. Even in your religious duties you go to extremes. When you go to extremes, you go away from the center path. That's how you get caught up on the left or the right hand side, which is shown here. I don't know if you all can see it, which is very important to see. Sahaja Yoga has been described by all the saints, especially after Adi Shankaracharya has very clearly talked about it. Before that it was kept as a very sacred and a secret science because there were very few people who could be given Realization. But today it is not that I am talking to only Arjuna or to few people here and there to select it, but it's an open invitation to all the people to open their eyes to this subtler knowledge, to this, the real power of yourself that is within you. Now, when we have become human beings, we have gone through various stages. All these stages are built within us as centers. These various centers lie within us, some in our spinal cord, one out of the spinal cord, and two of them in the brain. These centers are there. Who are the milestones of our evolution? When we were just a carbon atom, we were at the first center, carbon. I wonder how many people who know chemistry know the beauty of carbon. Carbon is made by Mother Earth. And that is very important because it has a balance. Carbon has four valencies, plus or minus both. I know if you know chemistry you will know about carbon very well. So it can give four or take four. It's such a balanced thing, just in the center of the periodic table is carbon. Without the carbon life could not come on this earth. So carbon was to be created first. and. When we were carbon, we were innocent, complete innocent people. Innocence is the first thing that was created on this earth. And this innocence is represented within us at a material level or at a matter level as carbon. In the first center, 